Hey, I'm J.G. Thurlwell. I'm a composer based in Brooklyn, and um, I work under various different names, including Fetus, Manorexia, Steroid Maximus, and I'm in San Francisco rehearsing with Cronus Quartet for um, a new piece that I've written for them called Aramicophobia, which means fear of sand and fear of the desert. Um, this, the piece, one of the impetuses of the piece was um, the uh, concept of the singing sands or booming dunes, which is a phenomenon that happens in certain dunes where the sand grain is conducive to this. It creates a groaning tone as the sand slides down the dune, which can happen spontaneously or you can generate it by actually pushing the sand down the dune. And um, after some research, I've found uh, that uh, there were several spots in the world where uh, there were fine uh, representations of that, including Egypt and uh, I think even in the southwest of the United States, um, and also in Oman. But for, for my piece, I also wanted to integrate the, the culture of the region and, and other musical elements that might seep into my consciousness as we, as we um, made these field recordings. So um, after some research, myself and Jakob Kierkegaard, who's a colleague of mine, um, and a sound artist uh, went to Oman and I asked him to be the sound recordist for, uh, for the sounds and, um, and so we, we chose the dune um, which we'd, we'd found through some research with some French scientists and located it on Google Maps and, and found the coordinates and actually had to drive cross country with a GPS and, and uh, locate this place and made some nice recordings there. It was up by the uh, border of the United Arab Emirates. And then um, we crossed the country to another dune. Uh, along the way, we would stop uh, in small towns and, and record the call to prayer, which happens five times a day, where um, the singers um, will chant prayers from the minarets of the mosque. And it makes also quite a haunting sound because it's uh, coming through these overdriven speakers and often there are quite a few mosques within earshot of each other so I wanted to capture that as well and elements of that also went into the piece so um, so uh, you know as I was doing that I was meditating on how this piece was going to come to shape and um, uh, it crystallized a little bit and then I came, when I came back to New York um, started working on it. So it does actually uh, start with a field recording of these booming dunes and then um, then there's parts of the call to prayer which I transcribe and try to invoke uh, with the strings so they're, they're a little distorted and, and sounding like they're bouncing off walls. Then it, uh, then it moves into many other different movements and meditations about, about the desert and um, and also about you know the the meaning of of, uh, of that place geographically and, and the desert as as a source of life and and the birthplace of life and 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 what it's become and it's the battlefield of you know many of today's conflicts and um, and uh, and also the source of you know a, a lot of uh, rich resources. And also probably the the, the um, resting place for m m many of us too. So it ends with the sound of the dunes as well.